Hey guys, John from The John Muir Show here, and sadly, yet another American life has been lost following a situation that the individual whose life was lost should never have had to be in in the first place. The victim in this is 16-year-old Madison Wells of New Jersey. She was entering her uh, junior year of high school, and uh, she was killed last weekend. Uh, the man suspected is 20-year-old Brian Cordero Castro. Uh, yeah, Cordero Castro, he is a uh, native of Guatemala. He was in the United States illegally, somebody who had overstayed his visa. So uh, if everything that uh, the prosecutors are saying is true is true, then we have another case of our, on our hands of an illegal alien. Did you hear that, Silicon Valley, Twitter, Facebook, all of you? I know it's your favorite words, illegal alien killing an innocent American. I mean, how many of these cases are we going to need to have happen? I, I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. We've got Kate Steinle, we've got Molly Tibbetts, we, we've got Madison Wells here. We have countless more cases. We don't even have time to start getting into all the names of American lives that have been lost at the hands of these criminals. I mean, don't get me wrong. No matter what, when an American citizen is murdered, it is equally bad because you, you are going to have a life that is going to be lost often far too soon and it is incredibly, incredibly tragic. I am not here to downplay any American citizen being killed, but at the same time, you look, when, when there is a, an American citizen who's killed by a fellow American citizen, as tragic as that is, you know what, we do have to say, hey, this was by an American citizen. This is a person who had to be in this country. It is sadly our problem, this individual. We can't go pawning him off on another country. But when it comes to cases like this one right here, I mean, you have somebody who should not have been in the country in the first place. There should have been no exposure to the victim here. This individual should not have been in the United States, but yet it is far too easy for illegal aliens to get into the United States because there's a certain political party, I don't want to name names, but the Democrats who go out there and say, you know what, oh yeah, who cares about securing our borders? Who cares uh, about any sort of immigration reform? Because if we secure our borders, that's going to keep out a bunch of people that we're assuming are going to someday vote for us. You see, for the Democrats, it is still abundantly clear because nothing is being done on their side of the aisle. It is all about, let's import a new class of voters. Oh yeah, I mean, who cares that they're illegal? Who cares that they're an economic burden collectively on our taxpayers? Who cares that we're exposing our citizens, large Largely, citizens who are minorities themselves, they are the ones who often have these illegals flooding into their communities. I mean, this is what Democrats are willing to allow happen just so they can get future voters because they think that'll help them regain power and stay in power. It is absolutely shameful. Kate Steinle, Molly Tibbetts, Madison Walls, I mean, how many people, how many notable cases do you have to have before enough prominent liberals finally stand up and say, hey, you know, enough is enough. We need to actually do our jobs. And first and foremost, as a politician, your job is to ensure the well-being of your constituents. And how many Democrats do we have across this country that are failing miserably, including Democrats here in the state of Wisconsin? It is just absolutely maddening that this continues to happen. And I don't want to see any more lives lost. We've already lost far too many. It is time to get serious here. Crack down on border security, build that damn wall, end chain migration, the visa lottery catch and release, and don't let Democrats get back in power because they don't take any of those things seriously. And they're the same party that wants to abolish ICE. Yeah, you know, ICE, uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, uh, the group that's gone around this country and thrown how many other thugs out of the, out of the United States that could have done the same damn thing. Yet yeah, Democrats want to get rid of that because to them, it's not that they're kicking out criminals, which they are criminals, these illegals. No, you're kicking out Democrat voters or future Democrat voters and they can't take it. It is just so maddening. I encourage everybody to stand with me and say we are not going to let a party that seemingly does not care that this is happening in the United States, we are not going to let them back into power. That's all the time we have for today. Have a terrific weekend. The John Muir Show is back at it Monday morning, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. on WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.